Hi everybody, this is Daryl with the Into the Darkroom support team. Uh, this is going to be a quick video tutorial on how to set up a database using HostGator. Uh, you may also get this link uh, even if you don't use HostGator, because HostGator uses a general program called cPanel, uh, and many other companies use it as well. So the information is the same, uh, you just may see uh, HostGator uh, name uh, here and there, but just keep in mind uh, many companies use the same program. Um, so that being said, at this point, you should have already downloaded um, your blog or blog site and gotten to this create a configuration file. Go ahead and click on this link as well as the let's go link. And you're just going to be asked for some general information that we're going to create in just a moment in your cPanel. Uh, it's going to ask you for your database name, a database username, and password. So let's go ahead and create that information now. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into your HostGator account uh, or your other um, uh, other hosting account. Uh, and once you're in, you know, you're just going to scroll down here uh, and you're going to find a section that says databases. Uh, there will be an option in here that says MySQL Database Wizard. Let's go ahead and click on that. The first thing it's going to do is ask you to set up the database name. Uh, we're just going to use something simple. Uh, I'm just going to happen to use the name uh, that uh, is the template that I bought. And the next thing, we're going to go ahead and just put in uh, the same information twice. We're also now going to go ahead and put in the uh, password. And we're going to go ahead and just hit create user. We're going to give it all the privileges and go ahead and click next in the bottom here. That is pretty much it. It's a very, very easy process. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, configuration page and we're going to take the uh, information that's on this page and we're going to go ahead and set that up. So it's going to be your database name. It's going to be, it's going to be the same. Uh, the beginning is your, happens to be your username to log in, followed by an underscore and the name that we just set up. We go ahead and put the password in, and you'll notice um, that we're not going to do anything with the database host or the database uh, prefix. At this point, you can go ahead and click submit, and you're going to get one of two options here. Uh, the first option you're going to get it will uh, be an error in connecting database, which means that you typed in your information wrong and it just wasn't able to connect. Uh, so go ahead and just reconfirm the information. Uh, and then hopefully you get to this, which is run the installation, or run the install. So go ahead and click on this button. And this is going to ask you for some general information. Uh, the site title, uh, you can put whatever you want in here for right now. Uh, you can go ahead and change this later on. Uh, the username by default is admin, so I just generally leave that alone. And I'm going to uh, create the password. And my email address. At this point, uh, we're just going to go ahead and click on Install WordPress and click Login. And we're just going to go ahead and type in our information here. Go ahead and log in. Now, first time users, uh, if you're not familiar with uh, WordPress, uh, then uh, we do have a tutorial that you can get familiar with WordPress, but no matter what, at this point, you want to go to Appearance on the far left-hand side and click on Themes. And in this list, uh, there should only be uh, a few uh, unless you have other themes in here, um, but basically what you're going to look for is a theme from ITDR. I happen to purchase the Dota one, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Activate. And that is pretty much it. So we've created the database and we've activated the theme and you guys are ready to go from here to put in your logos and do all that fun stuff. If you have any questions from here, uh, please feel free to uh, either call us, uh, send us a support ticket, or um, email us at customer.service at intothedarkroom.com. Again, that is customer.service at intothedarkroom.com. Thanks so much. Have a good day.